Hello everyone, and welcome to something new for 2023. Me on the internet. Me, even though it's already three weeks into 2023, but... In 2023, I've decided that I want to put more of my ideas out into the world, even if doing that scares me a little bit, which is what I'm doing right now. So recently, I've started playing The Sims 4, which my first Sims game was actually the original The Sims 1. But I didn't start playing The Sims 4 until the base game went free recently because I had heard things about her. Not necessarily the best things. But of course, once I started playing The Sims 4, I got addicted to it and I started looking up expansion packs and found Cottage Living. And I also found that in Cottage Living, my Sims can do something that I love doing, which is cross stitching. So I had my Sims start cross stitching and the patterns are really cute. And I thought, I really like to make them, so I had a little look around the internet and I couldn't find them. They don't appear to exist, unfortunately. So I figured I would use my knowledge and do a little bit of research and try and do them myself. Bit of a disclaimer, from what I found, Sims Guru Popcorn has made two of the patterns, the cow plant and Yamachan. So if you want to check out her socials, you can probably find them there and I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description as well. But other than those two, I couldn't find any. So today I want to try and make the three simple cross stitch patterns, which are the cross stitch patterns your sim can make immediately starting out. A couple of things about the cross stitch in the sims is that you can see when you zoom in that they're not actually like pixelated cross stitch patterns and it's just an illustrated image put over the top of a cross stitch texture which I'm absolutely not complaining about by the way. I think it looks really cute in game. Also the stitch size in game is quite large so you're going to be able to fit even more stitches in just a tiny 10 centimeter hoop like this. And also you're not going to actually stitch the negative space like they do in The Sims um, because that just kind of takes emphasis away from the pattern that you're actually stitching. I think I'm gonna try with the middle pattern, the shapes pattern, because it is quite simplistic and there's only three colours. So I've picked the four colours to the best of my ability and I've loaded up Max Stitch. So I'm going to try and create um, this pattern that you see in the screenshot into a cross stitch pattern. So I'm going to try and do that now. Five hours later. Every single time I cross stitch anything, I forget how long it takes. It's been years and I just still haven't learned. But this looks actually pretty cute. I'm pretty proud of this. It's 9.30 in the evening now, so I'm gonna call it a day and I will come back tomorrow and hopefully do the other two patterns. So, see you tomorrow. Day two. I always knew this was going to take more than one day. Hopefully I can get the other two patterns finished today. I think shapes was actually deceptively the most difficult one because it took me like four or five attempts to get the shape right and also get it at the right size. Hopefully I won't have as many issues with the other two. I did record how long it took me to make this pattern yesterday and apparently it took 40 minutes. Which, I don't know, it could be worse, but 
for a pattern that just consists of nine of the same shape, it kind of feels a little bit too long. But um, let's see how long it takes me today. <laughs> the next pattern I want to make is the rainbow. Hopefully that will not take me as long. And then again, now that I've said that, it will probably take me even longer. What's the temperature supposed to be? 20. Sure. Can't wear these because I just end up with green ring lights. In my eyes. Can you get like. Oh yeah. That's good, isn't it? Is it that? I genuinely cannot tell. Oh yeah. Here. I don't know if that's helping. Yeah, that's not helping in that. No. Not that bad. This is really good. Several hours later. I honestly think that's the best that I can do. It's been four and a half hours since I started doing this today. It's just a lot of time to spend on something that is 10 centimeters in diameter. So yeah, I'm going to test these patterns and actually stitch them up and see how they look and that's going to take me another few hours. I will come back tomorrow on day three with the three finished hoops. I gave myself the weekend to finish stitching these, so it is now day five, technically. But I have finished them all, which is very exciting because I think they look really cute. So the first one I did I already showed, I've got shapes, and then I've done rainbow, and of course, a stick figure. I think the one that differs the most from the actual cross stitch in game is rainbow because the rainbow in game is asymmetrical which it looks good in game because it has a really cute hand drawn quality to it but in cross stitch if you make things asymmetrical it just it kind of looks strange so I chose to make it more symmetrical. Here are the patterns a little bit closer up Here's the shapes and the rainbow and stick figure. I think they look quite cute together. So that's all three of them done. I'm actually really proud with how they turned out. I think they look really nice. Um, even like I'm not the biggest fan of the stick figures pattern in game, but I think it looks really cute in real life. If you want to try out these cross stitch patterns for yourself, I will be putting them on my Etsy shop. Obviously, they're not my original designs, so I'm going to try and keep them as cheap as possible. I think like $3 Australian for a pattern. Obviously, full credit to the Sims team and the designers of these actual cross stitch patterns in game. If you do choose to buy them, I'll be super grateful because all you're paying for is the um, time and effort and supplies that it took for me to actually make the pattern that you're purchasing. But if you do buy the patterns from me I'd be really super appreciative because it means that I can do more things like this in the future and I would really like to make more patterns from The Sims 4. I'll also be putting some of my original designs on my Etsy shop as well uh, so if you like cross stitching in general there should be some more stuff on there in the next few weeks. If you like watching videos about The Sims feel free to subscribe because I will be doing a lot more of that. I will leave my social media linked in the description. If you actually make any of these, please tag me and let me know because I'd be super excited to see what, what you make with them. So in the meantime, that is all I have for you for now and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone!